plain to me about having to juggle things and always be there. I liked you so much last week. Now look at us. I'll make you go mop up Philip. Previously on Quantro, we found Dylan! That's good, isn't it? Or is it? I'm not sure, because it turns out he was a uh, prisoner P6 um, and has escaped, but has just sauntered into um, central control or central you know, management command place. You know, where, you know the, the thing where all the people are, uh, as if nothing's wrong. And he's like, yeah, 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 I'm not like your normal hiss infected. Um, either way, not seen, seen him in, what, 17 years? This is going to be an interesting reunion. However, before we go and say hi to our long lost brother and go speak to Emily in the boardroom, that's the, that's the one, we did promise a certain man who has been um, on shift for far too long staring at a fridge that we would go help him. Here he is, look. So. That's right, Philip. Keep them off. Don't worry. Oh. 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 All right, Philip. Let's let's get this sorted, shall we? Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. Okay. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston. If he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Wow, Langston, you dropped the ball. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Philip. Oh, right. My, my, my name's Philip. Yep. And I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Philip. Okay, all right. Langston, you dropped the ball on that one, buddy. I'm not gonna lie. Can I just fast travel there? Oh, look, abilities. Nom, 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 nom. Right. Ooh, more levitation duration. Ha! Huh. That's fun to say, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, we should probably add some health, shouldn't we? Because... Oh, but more energy would be nice as well. Sod it. We're gonna continue with this offensive build. Um... Because I, I know somebody in the comments was like, hmm, you're talking a lot about the difficulty spike, but you also haven't upgraded any of your weapons or your health. And yes, that's fair. But also, I love throwing things at things. It's so damaging now. Okay, let's see. <gasps> yes, we can upgrade things. Spin is my favorite gun. We need another corrupted sample. Can we afford to upgrade anything right now? No. All right, we're just going to wait until we get an, oops, another corrupted sample, and then we'll go. In the meantime, oh, let's just, we can just walk to go see Langston. Honestly, I mean, oh shit, oh wow, okay. I was about to say Langston's really dropped the ball on this one. He's really done Philip dirty. Like, I know there's an emergency, but he, he really should be um, taking better care of his charges. And then I just charged into a lift shaft and um, died. So I'm going to hold my tongue, actually. Langston, Langston's doing a pretty good job. Anyone seen the director? Yeah, the director's at the bottom of the lift shaft. Okay. Is it this way? Am I still go I'm going the same way. Don't do it again. Hmm. How about that, how about that sense of direction, Johnny? Here we go, here we go. Any hiss wanna try it? No? Good. Cause I've got a Fred to tick off. I can fly now. Completely forgot about that. Oops, I'm up to area. Oh for God's sake. Go! Oh. 
Is it possible to seize the floating... Yes, it is. Please come... Ow. Oh. I would like to take control of you, please, because you are exploding and horrible. Mmm, cheese. And you're my friend now. And you... are my friend now. Let's just watch, shall we? Yes, well, that was very satisfying. Uh-oh. Not getting the timing right on that, am I? Ow. Seize him. Seize him. Okay. There. Gotcha. <laughs> oh dear. Never quite feels right, that. Did I come in here for absolutely no reason? It feels like I did. Oh god! Oh no. Not again. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Hidden location discovered. One ability point received. That's great fun. Thanks. Okay, so this wasn't a complete waste of my time and yours. Oops. Langston, come here. I want a word with you. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day. Yeah. I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The Hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's... Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. Got very defensive there. there. Langston. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, man. He doesn't know us very well. Mm -mm. Don't push me, Langston. Do not push me. Because we went straight from... I forgot him, and he's been watching for over a day, and that's terrible for him and dangerous for the Bureau, to I don't think you understand Philip needs to keep doing this because it's dangerous for people in the Bureau. I'll see you later, Langston. Yeah, goddamn right we call him I'll Langston, not Fred. Always. Oh, don't. Don't you start. Like always. Philip is up there like always, because of you. Oh, that's put my nose out of joint. Don't get overly defensive when it's you who's messed up. My buddy. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have an explodo gun. How could I forget? Boom. Ow. Come here. Oh. Oh, there's a buffing orb somewhere, is there? Where is it? Who is buffing you? Where do they live? I'll show them. Maybe I'll just try and blow you up in one fell swoop. Not like that, you won't. Like that, you will, though. Alright. Don't know where you are, buffing orb, but I'll see you later. You're no longer a threat. Oh, that, those, those ones are they. Oh, 
Oh, criminy. Uh, I don't have time for this. Philip needs me. You can't dodge things when I'm really, really close, can you? Good to know. Good to know. Up we go in the lift. Oh god, when I was bumbling around earlier trying to find the way to Langston. And I fell in the lift shaft. I technically found the right way. It's just that the lift wasn't on the right floor. My sense of direction is impeccable. It really is. Alright, Jesse. Let's go tame a fridge. Hey, buddy. Hello, Hello Philip. Jesse? Yep. I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Jesse? The French is doing something. Uh oh. <gasps> no! Philip! Philip? Oh, for God's sake. Langston, I'm gonna. If I look away, it hurts me. Langston! Philip. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Do I have to fight the fridge? Oh my god. Oh cool, I can send his own jazz back at it. Why are you called former? Former what? Former fridge? Oh, you're insectile, aren't you? Piss off. There we go. Now we're talking. No, this. I want to catch this. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Smashes holes in the actual floor. Ow! And into Jesse. No, don't hit the. Oh, sh. Oh, wow, it smashes holes in the floor. Gravity! You've always been my worst nemesis. Did Philip have to die? Could Philip not just have gone, oh, thank goodness you're here? I need you to do something about this fridge, because I probably would have tried to calm it down anyway. Did Philip have to get vaporised, munched in the door, like a tomato that had fallen in between the hinges? <sighs> oh no, do I have to watch Philip die again? Or is Philip already dead? Oh, also, would it pain you to go the right way just once? Just once, please, Jimmy. Oh god, I've got to watch it. <laughs> Jesse? Philip, I'm so sorry. I'm coming in. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. Don't thank, thank you. me yet, Philip. I don't. This isn't going to be easy for you. Look, you've done a great job. I just want to thank you for your service to the bureau. Jesse? The French is doing something. Philip. Philip. <sighs> If I look away, it hurts me. Philip was looking at it and it hurt him, so. All right then. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. There you are.
for God's sake, get the actual orbs that it's firing. This, yes. Good lord. Right. Sack that off. Go get your health pips. I don't want to watch Jesse die again. Well, hear Jesse die again. Ow. Okay, this. Grab this. And this. Yikes. Ow, ow, ow. I did not dodge at the right time. Grab the actual... Oh, grab the orb, Jesse. Oh, you're kidding. You're apps. You're actually kidding. You are actually... Kidding me. Keep running, Jesse. All right, just try not to fall through the level this time. Or get smashed by the claw, that too, that is also a danger. Wow, it's really going for us this time, huh? Please stop it. Flipping now. Just piss off. Show me your big. St yes, all right. You're dead now. I hate you. I hate you for what you've done to Philip. There's no black pyramid here. Oh. Seems fixed. Didn't that thing off change something? Fridge seems fixed. Oh, look. Horrible monster. I'll fix you, Fridge. We need fill it back. Bloody Fridge. Right, Langston, come here. Employee incident. There's going to be an employee incident in a bloody minute. Right. Oh yeah, I got an ability point. Let's see if I can spend it. That'll cheer me up. Yes, we can. I just don't see why Philip had to die. Complain to me about having to juggle things and always be there. I liked you so much last week. Now look at us. You go mop up Philip. Right. I swear to God, if he gives me any sass at all, how'd it go? Where's Philip? Dead. Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. Poor Philip. You never did like fridge duty. <laughs> but if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? No one. The fridge is fine. It's now. fine. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I fixed it. I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye, wasn't friendly. And then I killed it. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. Mm -hmm. 
The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. Mm -hmm. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. And so am I. This may happen again. Mm -hmm. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. <sighs> the hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'm going to strangle him with his own tie. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be. I better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him. I used to like him. Now I hate him. I hate him so much. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a jerk. Uh, okay. I don't. Yeah, let's just. Let's go to. Let's go reunite with our brother. I'm sure that'll cheer us up. I just want the fast travel point. If we go this way, there's one. See you later, Langston. Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. You jackass. Right. Do we level up our health again? Or do we get more energy? We should probably level up our health. Let's, let's add a bit of survivability to... Uh, to Jesse, shall we? Right, now let's fast travel. We need to go to Central Exec. Dylan's probably running around my office trapped in the in the drinks cabinet, in the drink trolley. If I'm anything to go by. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Try, trying to stop being annoyed by Langston, but here we are. Right, anyway. Hello, Pope. You're my favourite NPC. Oh, you and Marshall. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, control? more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Number one, that was a very smoldering look. Number two, you noticed how Pope's the only one who calls us Jesse? I have. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine, a researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Ugh. Well, I don't like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, nothing. You just, you had a, um... You had a red triangle next to you, so I, that's why I... I should be going. Yep. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Aww. <sighs> I wonder what Pope's connection to Underhill is. Oh, oh wow. She had to write everything in her made-up gibberish. Oh, Arish. You asshole. <laughs> a jukebox token? What? What is this?
Ask her. Oh. Girl, put your records on. Show you me your f to play you me your favourite song. You know you must let your hair down. Interesting. All right, Arish, you got a red triangle. I found this token. Lay it on me, buddy. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The Rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Mm. Why does it send you there? Uh, the Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. Mm. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have run back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. <sighs> Why is it that everyone, everyone in this it's bureau is like... You're not the only one who's busy. Oh, piss off. Everyone in this bureau is like, yeah, there are these people. They they work here and... No, actually, no. I think they're missing. I think they've, I think they've been missing for a while. Keep tabs on your people. Right. We should go speak with Dylan on the upper level. That's what I think we should do. Ooh. But. Good luck out there. Thank you. What are you? This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau Security. Oof, he's dead. Uh, we'll put a token in the jukebox later, but for now, I want to go speak to Dylan. What does? Yeah. Pope's promotion, eh? Doctor Darling is popular. Knew she was great. Congrats on the promotion, Pope. What this? Whoa! What the fuck? What is going on here? Sticky note complaint. <laughs> Sorry about it, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. I mean, to be fair, this duplicating sticky note probably saved your life. Those are enormous cigarettes. Wow. Crikey. Did you see that hiss they marched through here? Why the fuck didn't we put a bullet in that thing's head? I heard it's the director's brother. Would you shoot your brother? That's no one's brother anymore. He's the enemy, plain and simple. Hey, Ranger One, I'm standing right here. That's all. I thought things were stabilizing. Marshall abandoned. Where am I going? Oh Christ. Hey buddy. You are a worm through time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, the verdict is made right. They fear inside the back door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been a mirror. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Hey, brother. You are on your time. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. Oh, God. He's talking in the third person. 
Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Please to stop be true. That. Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. Nope. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in, you've always been here! The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. Mm -hmm. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for a pause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. Mm -hmm. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. Did I mention my they job title? They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. Ah. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> funny. Not funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. Hiss is using you. You are a puppet. You're a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. Eh. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Eh. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Wh how? Why? Salvador wanted me to. Oh. Help. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Mm. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I, mm, mm. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. <laughs> you can help me. We can end this. And off he goes again. Wow. I cannot... I can talk to him again? I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I can't believe I called the last episode of this Let's Play series Stress Cry. What am I supposed to call it now? Big Stress Cry? That was not nice. That was horrible. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Sod it. I'm gonna go put a token in a jukebox. Actually, that feels like a, a fun thing to do right now. Hey, there, Faith. hey what, uh, you've got a triangle again. Why? I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Yeah, big whoop. Did the whole boot camp thing. Big whoop. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. Mm -hmm. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. 
There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Heptonstall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Oh, oh. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. Mm. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay his. Okay. Well... I have to go. Yeah, me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. You're the one keeping me busy by giving me fetch quests. Don't get sloppy out there. Oh, Arish. No, you... Mm, not today. Not today, buddy. Right. Let's go... Where's this jukebox live? Where did he say it was? It's past the security booth. Is it this? What's this? Beep. <sighs> I don't know. This episode's a lot. This game's a lot. What up, buddy? Yes, you're the jukebox, aren't you? Okay. Oh, look, tier wanted. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Enemy weapon damage is plus 50%. Oh, no. Availability, availability expires in 59 minutes. Fun. Challenge room. Good thing I upgraded my health. A bit. Well, this seems fine. Okay, four island sites. Got to clear them in 25 minutes. <sighs> Whoopsie. Slowly down. There we go. Feels like I'm in the Nightmare Forest in Destiny 2, or whatever it's called, the Dark Forest, the Halloween event thing. Oh, hey, buddy! Ow! Hey, shield man. Drop your shield, please. Thank you. Uh oh. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Okay. Wow. I really like the um the way all this is built. It's creepy. As as balls. Ah. Okay. Ah, look. Hey, look at that. From above, you can still hit those guys. You can bypass their shield, it looks like. That's fun. <laughs> Ooh. Sod off, pal. Am I actually cleansing anything? Am I, what am I, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be doing? It feels like I'm at the top of the thing, but the, uh, the plate, the... Is that it? Is that what I meant to cleanse? Did I just ignore all of the thing?
Oh, there we go. Oh, look. Okay. Now I have to stay here. I understand. Okay. Where are you? Whoa! Oh yeah, it's one of you. The invisible bastards. Sod off. Become corporeal and then... Sod off. Oh, I don't have time for this. Do you mind? I'm having a very stressful day. Director's taking a long lunch after this one. Tell you that for nothing. Who's next? Ah, oh, shit. Oh! Turns out I didn't want to put a song on with the jukebox. Okay, so screw exploring the jukebox for today. We will do that another time. Possibly never. Um, it was cool to go have a look, but I also feel like um, our time can be better served doing something actually, you know, um, on, 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 on mission. So we need to go to containment and find the prime candidates program. <gasps> Can we afford to upgrade? Can we afford... Leave me alone with your jukebox tokens. Thanks for letting me... Yeah. Can I upgrade? Still don't have a corrupted sample. And I don't have enough source now. Cool, cool, cool. Fast travel. Central executive. Let's go to containment, I guess. And logistics. And try and go from there. Fun, fun, fun. I mean, it's good that I'm going to the prime candidate section. Maybe I'll finally get the training that I uh, I did not receive when I took up the mantle of director. And I really should have. Like, I know training for a new job can often be dull. But when you're the director of the Bureau of Control, it feels quite important. I'll say that much for nothing. Question is, how do we get there? Let's probably head on to security and then see. Hey, security, sure. No, I kind of feel like it ought to be. Who wants them? Whoops. Okay. So the charge is a pretty great gun, it turns out. Very pleased with that. Okay. P6 cell. Prime candidate program. Yes, please. Oh, man. That's always a good sign, isn't it? Hello! I'm here to check in for the... never mind. Oh, wow. Never mind indeed, jerk. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Not anymore, it's not. Bloody hiss. Okay. Well... I'll go through there. Let's get this over with, I suppose. Find new prime candidates. The bureau needs a director. Hmm. Our future. P six and P seven. Am I P seven? I mean, I'm the director, but 
Was I P7? Where's the orb? Where's the orb that's buffing you up? There it is. Come here, you little sneaky round bastard. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, I'm having the worst week. Ugh. Okay, right. We're gonna stay chill. We're not gonna die this time. You still there, buddy? No, okay. You're still dead. That's fine. Wish I could say the same for these buttheads down the corridor. Okay, the orb is up. Ah, shite. Man, those things can really explode when they want to, huh? Come back here, orb. I'm not done with you yet. Oh, See, it turns out, the thing about really buffing your launch damage is that even with the sneaky little orb, you can do loads of, uh, loads of damage to people by hitting them with stuff. I mean, there we go, do still want to kill the orb. But let's just keep moving, there we go, because that's always the trick, isn't it? Oh, man. You sound like a stovetop kettle. Don't panic. Don't panic. Look, here we go. See, look. You killed him. Is that everyone? What is this? Oh, no, it's not everyone. Come here. <gasps> is that... Oh, it's a remote thought. That's not what I need to upgrade spin, is it? Boo. Oh, well. Right. Okay, I'll tell you what I'd love right now. Oh, no, P6. Really love a control point to cleanse, actually. Is there one? Let's double check. Let's be safe. And check... For a little, little control point. A shelter. That's a start. A shield boost. Everyone's being all grumbly mumbly. Entropic echo. It's not what I need, but I'll take it anyway. Wow. I mean, this corridor looks cool, but also it's horrible. Okay. Let's just double check. Oh, this is just where we were. All right, we push on. Hope it treats us to one later. I guess let's go in P6 since I wish we things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Mission won't change things. Finding the projector will. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy. Dylan Faden. That's my brother. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. 
But once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. But the sister's me. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. Lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. It's not how it works. He, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Wow, there it is. He's hmm? exceptional and under a lot of stress. <laughs> God. No. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Mm, 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 mm. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Dear, dear, darling, please. God, there are so many unfortunate connotations with those lines. Boys will be boys. He's under a lot of stress. Like, hmm, ever the buzzwords of excusing unacceptable behaviour. Oof. P6 vi victim autopsy. <laughs> God. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Excessive trauma of the abdominal regions. Lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. They broke his PlayStation controller? Avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs, left and right. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. Abrasions, lacerations and contusions of the extremities. Dislocation of left and right elbow. Dislocation of left and right knee. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the blank was contorted through his blank. I'd have locked Jesse, not Jesse, I'd have locked Dylan in a cell as well. That's awful. That's dreadful. Wow. Dylan Faden transcript. God. Oh no. Goodness. Okay. Well, Dylan and Polaris weren't getting on. I mean, we already knew that. He said the hiss got rid of her. And he used the hiss to chase her out. But, um... Wow! <gasps> is that a picture of a doggy? Oh, no, of course it isn't. Is it, what the fuck is this? I'm not sure I can take much more. Set, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Baseballs can't talk lift about objects. A fly ball, eh, Meg? Oh, God. <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? 
Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Hank! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. <laughs>